Colonel John Platt, the once self-described shy kid, grew up listening to the Beatles and classic rock. While in Japan, he picked up karaoke as a hobby, a hobby he carried with him to Afghanistan, where one night, karaoke was canceled. I showed up for karaoke one night. Instead of karaoke, they had a band. And I listened to the band, and at the end of the concert, I was like, hey, that was great. You need like a backup singer. And they were like, actually, our lead singer's leaving in three days, so if you want the job, you've got it. So that's how I, that's how I stumbled into it. That It is the musical ensemble affectionately referred to as the band with no name. There were Americans, Canadians, Army, Navy, men and women, young and old. But one thing they share is a love of music. When you're deployed and there's, you know, and you're, you're finished with the duty day, you gotta have something to pass the time. Being in a band for me has just been a pure, pure joy meeting all these other musicians and, and learning all these new songs. It definitely makes the deployment go by faster. Like plain old Jane. The band's been overhauled and reformed countless times over the years, so much so that none of its current members were there when it started. Deployments begin and end, but the band has managed to stick around. Sometimes it's a bit disappointing if you've prepared a lot of songs and someone has to leave. So the impact of having folks leave the band it isn't just that you miss having them perform. In some cases, it actually affects the fact that you may not be able to play that song uh, the next time around. Constantly adjusting to new members isn't the only challenge. Sometimes the only thing separating a jam session and a night in the barracks is a missing cable. You know, there's a lot of work setting up the band, and setting up practices. Yeah, you come in early, you, you, you set up, you gotta find all the chords, find all the mic stands, find, find the equipment, uh, repair things, make the sound work. I think it was F sharp, right? Wrestling with aging equipment, performers coming and going, not to mention an 80-hour work week doesn't sound like much fun, but it's hard work well rewarded. Why do we do it is really because we like doing what we do. The band is a bit of a release and the music is a bit of a release for that, for us. Let's do it. We like performing for the people out there too, because they're getting the same benefit that we are by playing, they're getting the same benefit to listen. Their performances can draw crowds in the hundreds. The most enjoyable thing about being in the band is, is watching the crowd you know, react and enjoy the song. So we started off small with just you know, little gigs here and there, and our reputation has kind of grown over time. Through all the adversity they face, they find a way to make it work and have fun doing it, even if there's a little extra pressure to perform well. Performing here in Afghanistan is a heck of a lot different. When you think about it, we're standing up playing with guitars and guns, and there's 100 folks out there also with guns, yeah, it's a little bit of pressure to do the song well. There will come a time when its current members leave. But the band has survived change before. Through it all, the show goes on. You know, I hope the band keeps going as long as this mission keeps going. Staff Sergeant Alex Farver, Camp Eggers, Afghanistan. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the band that has no name yet.